alkanes are simple unreactive hydrocarbons. Of course, you can burn them, and under other extreme conditions, they will undergo reactions. But they're pretty much unreactive, and that's where an alkane is a hydrocarbon that has single bonds. So an alkane is saturated which means it has the maximum number of hydrogens that it could have if its formula fits the general formula CnH2n plus 2. So we went over this with some examples last time where if you have methane you'll have C1H4, ethane C2H6, propane C3H8, and in each case the number of carbons times 2 plus 2 gives the number of hydrogens. Now what if it doesn't fit this formula? If it has two fewer hydrogen atoms than this formula would suggest, then it has one degree of unsaturation. And if saturated means it has the maximum number of hydrogens, then unsaturated means it has fewer hydrogens. And for each degree of unsaturation, the compound will either have one pi bond or a multiple bond. Or one ring. And so if you're looking at a formula, you could tell pretty much the number of unsaturations. Let's take C6 H6 is benzene. And if I applied the CnH2n plus 2 formula, I would say that C6H14 would be hexane and saturated. So if we compare the 14 to the 6, we find 14 minus 6 equals 8 hydrogens less than saturated as benzene. And then if we divide by 2, we get 4 degrees of unsaturation. And in benzene's particular case, given its skeletal structure, you can see where those 4 degrees of unsaturation are. You have one ring and three pi bonds. So that's four degrees of unsaturation. So there we go. Little primer on what is an alkane and what happens if an alkane is not saturated.